Hi, it's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Today we're gonna to look at a posterior guide of the OA joint. Remembering the mechanics. Upper cervical, which is OA, occiput, C1, is anytime I get side bending, there's rotation happens to the opposite side. So for example, if I flex this, if it flexes his neck forward, we get a, the bone goes forward, but the glide is posterior. If I wanna get this side to glide posterior, so I wanna stretch this side, I have to side bend left, which gives me rotation right. This is the mechanics of type one. Remember, type one is dictated by what the muscles are doing, like a scoliosis of type one. So what I would do is I would flex. Now the flexion part is the key, is the rotation comes around the ear, right? You're not flexing through the neck, but through the ear. So OA, I get my hand underneath it, and I nod and forward. Then I side tilt, so I side tilt to the left. So that's left side bending upper cervical, to get the right rotation, the best thing to do is take this side and kind of you just push it down to the table. Right? It's not, not rotation that way. So we do OA flexion, side tilt, and then my right hand is pushing, left hand is guiding, and I'm taking the right part of the occiput and I'm pushing it posteriorly. And the patient will feel a little bit of a stretch, the posterior part on the right side. Really good for headaches, you know, the common posture on the computers these days so that's important to do so what do you do when you get there again you can do contract relax you could hold it so i could flex them side tilt them and then i could just hold them in that i could mobilize them or contract relax i could have him look with his eyes towards the right or to the left wherever i feel more for you to do the left hold it there and relax when you do that you'll feel the muscles start to contract so the way i remember contract relax always had them go towards midline or back to neutral. So if Antonio was side bent that way, rotated that way, I might say look to the left and see what that does. Just look gentle and relax. Wait for them to relax then you could go more into that position. Once you're there then you could also do just a glide. You could hold them in end range as a static glide or you can do your oscillations. All right so this is it. So this is OA, posterior glide, again on the right side. Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.